Welcome to Ask TACMAN, where we answer your questions about real-time PCR. I'm Lavorka from Live Technologies, and today we are covering sample tracking on open array runs. Sample tracking can be simple, but on an open array plate with so much flexibility in sample and assay combinations, without assistance, it could get a little complicated. A single open array plate has 48 subarrays, and each of those subarrays contains 64 through holes combining for a whopping 3,072 possible sample assay combinations. This is why Life Technologies provides files and software to facilitate the sample tracking process for our customers. First, let us review how assay information is saved. For all custom array orders, you will receive a file which houses all assay information. Depending on whether you've set up a genotyping or gene expression run, the file format will either be a .spf or .tpf file, respectively. You will receive a unique file for every open array plate ordered. The file name will also correspond to the alphanumeric serial number found on the packaging and the open array plate itself. For example, in a genotyping run, the plate with serial number CIF34 will have a corresponding file named CIF34.spf. This file is sent on a CD-ROM with your order and is also available for download on the Live Technologies website. Now, let's review how you create and store sample information. The Sample Tracker software is really great because you're able to create your sample layout and see how it translates from a 96-wheel format to an open array plate. Here on the main setup page, you can choose your experiment type, desired number of through holes per sample, and specify if you're using a fixed or adjustable pipette. Let's take a closer look at an example. You're trying to set up a genotyping run, and you would like to have one sample assigned to each subarray. For this case, you will select genotyping 64, as one subarray has a total of 64 through holes. Once you have selected your experimental properties, you can go to the samples page and enter your 96 well plate layout. Then, continue to the sample mapping plate, where the software automatically updates that information into the open array format. Suddenly, those 3,072 through holes don't seem so scary, right? One last step and you're almost home free. All you need to do is export your file and all your sample information is ready to go. Once you have created your exported sample file, you can incorporate it into your experimental run in a few ways. Number one, you can combine it with the SPF or TPF file during the sample loading process on the AccuFill. Or two, you can import your sample information once your run has completed. Either way, Life Technology software allows great flexibility in case you realized you input something incorrectly or forgot to add your sample information altogether. Just know you can change or add things at any time before or after your run. Do you have any real-time PCR questions? Just Ask Tacman on Twitter using the hashtag Ask Tacman or Facebook or at lifetechnologies.com forward slash Ask Tacman.